Hello guys, once again an unboxing video and uh, this one has an interesting story about it because uh, I didn't really intend to buy this at first a couple of weeks ago I uh, entered an auction and, you know I just you know, was like I'll just bid on it because uh, by, the, by the title of the video you should already know what I'm talking about so the laptop that's in here was supposedly in mint condition, it was supposed to be a really perfect, really collector and collector's item. I was like, yeah, I'm into vintage laptops. I'll just bid on it. So I bid like uh, 20 euros on it, like for the heck of it. And, uh, you know, I got outbid really, really quickly. And I was like, okay, sure, well, apparently there are other collectors out there as well that want to, want to have this. And uh, yeah, so here's the laptop. And uh, that's it, yes. Okay. So yeah, so I said I got out of bed really quickly. And uh, the fun thing is, like a couple days ago, I suddenly got a message. Yeah, you're the highest bidder, and uh, I'm okay with your price. You still want to have it. And I was like, well, fuck yeah. And oh god, I just opened this bag up, Let's see what we got here. This is a mouse. It's a little bit grimy, a little bit of uh, wear on it. Not on the buttons that I can see. So, I like the feel of this. Plus it's uh, it's really awesome because it's, it's an IBM PS2 mouse. Wow. Oh, this is cool, man. Whoa. An original IBM PS2 mouse. It's a really nice feel and clicky sound to it. I guess this was for the people that don't really like the track point device. I personally like the track points. Or a nipple mouse. And uh, this is the power supply or the AC adapter, whatever you want to call it. Got an IBM logo on it. Appears to be in good shape. IBM AC adapters, that's the original one. It came from the factory. Cool. Okay, so I'm gonna do some cleaning up here and uh, let's see what the laptop itself. Okay guys, there we are again. Here is the laptop itself. Let's get into view here. As you can see, there is no real wear or any scratching on the top. It's pretty much almost pristine. It really is. So all right. this is really looking good so far. I don't see any real major damage or scratching. Not even on the bottom. Wow. Okay, this is cool. Anyway, so this is the IBM ThinkPad 380D. And here on the front we have nothing but the two screen latches. Which are still in decent shape. Screen hinge is not floppy at all, it's still very tight. So let's take a look at the keyboard here. Well, I adjust the camera angle just a little bit. So, let's see. Uh, the keyboard is in good condition. The track point is a little bit grimy. Let me get that in focus a little bit for you. It's a little, it, yeah, it's a bit rough. It's a bit grimy. There's some sticky residue on there. That's pretty much all that there is to it. <laughs> in terms of damage or real wear or anything. Buttons don't feel worn at all. This one is a little bit lighter to press than this one. The left button is a little bit more worn, I, I guess. There's no real wear on the keyboard. It's not shiny at all, not anywhere. It's just... my god. It is an Azurity keyboard layout though. But uh, I couldn't really care less, so. 
I mean, if that's the only trade-off to get a pristine condition IBM ThinkPad from the uh, from 1997, then uh, I'm very willing to take that. So, and here on the screen we have. Uh, let me readjust the camera. Sorry. So here on the right hand side of the screen we have brightness controls, just one big slider button, as you can see there. Uh, so far so good. So let's get a bit uh, closer look on what else we got in here. Let's see, we got uh, a full range, uh, full range of keys here, insert, delete, and etc. It's also on here. That's cool. You don't usually see that. And here are all the various indicator lights, apparently for battery, disk activity, of course the lock keys for num lock, scroll lock, caps lock, and some other stuff. I'm not quite sure what those are. So let's close the lid again. And we're going to take a look at the left hand side of the IBM ThinkPad 3D laptop. Let's see, this appears to be the power button, it's a slider button. This appears to be... Is it a blank or infrared port? Let me get that up close. Let's see. It's infrared, yep. Okay, cool. So, power button, infrared. Here we have two card bus slots, or PC card slots. PCMCIA slots, whatever you want to call it, it's all the same fucking thing anyway. And a Kensington lock here as well. On the right hand side of the notebook, we have a CD ROM drive and a floppy drive. Hardware volume control, a nice volume wheel here. That's yeah, cool. Microphone and headphone jack. And here is the back side. We have a VGA parallel serial port, power port, and a PS2 port for that awesome mouse. And we are missing one screw, so it has been taken apart apparently, I think, to replace the hard drive. That's very probable. So the only two flaws I've been able to find on this notebook are the fact that the track point is grimy and that there is missing one screw. And there's missing one screw. That's it. I don't know if the battery works though. If it doesn't, that would be really awesome. Okay. Yeah, let's find out if the battery still holds a charge. Let's boot her up and see what happens. Let me adjust the screen here. Okay. It doesn't have a charge currently. I don't know if it will take one eventually. Just have to uh, get a part after plugged in. There we go. Indicator light for the battery just came on. That's a good sign. I see some power lights. I heard a hard drive spin up. It has 80 megabytes of RAM. And it beeped. And it's running Debian. Okay, that's cool. Let's turn the screen brightness up a little bit. And darken my room here a little bit. And move the tripod closer to the screen. So we can all see what's going on. There we go. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with uh, it yet in terms of operating system. I'm thinking about installing Windows 95. But seeing the fact that it has, you know, 80 megs of RAM, I could easily run Windows 98 on it, no problem. I have to find out if uh, which drivers I'm going to need. And as far as I'm aware, this thing is a little bit picky when it comes to uh, CDs, so... Apparently the CD-ROM drive that's in this thing is not capable of reading CD-R and CD-RW. That would be a problem. 
So we're going to have to see if we can bypass that, or that if it even will read CDRWs just fine or CDRs. I just pop one in uh, at a later point and see if that works. If it doesn't, it's just fine. I'm going to use my uh, Windows 9X CD, which contains Windows 95, OSR 2.5, I believe, Windows 98 First Edition, 98 Second Edition, and Windows ME. Now read the login prompt. Oh, apparently this thing was just used for text mode. I don't think we're going to get past this. It's going to use default credentials for root. And it failed. If we use password blank, what will it do? No, it won't let me log on. So that's the end of the unboxing and first look at my IBM ThinkPad 380D. That's too bad that I can't log in, but, uh, you know, this thing definitely qualifies to be in uh, B Bishop PCM's mint condition. With a K, of course. This is one awesome vintage laptop. I'm going to have some fun with it today. And uh, hopefully you've had fun watching this, even though it's a little bit of a rambling video and a little bit of a, you know, a look around. Because this thing is pretty new to me as well, and I like doing things on the fly, so. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this video somewhat, and uh, thank you. I, uh, I want to thank you all for watching, and uh, have a nice day.